question 22. The table refers to hydrogen halides. Which row is correct? Okay, so there are two parts, oxidation and thermal stability. Okay, so let's uh, start from oxidation. Uh, easier to oxidize down the group or more difficult to oxidize down the group. So uh, when down the group, uh, from HCl, HBr to uh, Hi, uh, so we know that the bond energy of the HCl is stronger, uh, is harder to be oxidized. For the Hi, the bond energy is uh, lesser, is smaller, so it's easy to uh, oxidize the Hi. Uh, using the H2SO4. Uh, so I give you uh, one equation, one example. Uh, if we use the H2SO4, right, so the hydrogen iodide will react or will oxidize by the H2SO4 to form the iodine. And of course the sulfate uh, or the H2SO4 will form the H2S. Uh, so when down the group, the uh, this uh, is easier to oxidize the hydrogen's uh, halides. Okay, and it can form the different products. So the HCl is not able to oxidize by the H2SO4. So answer is just um, either A or C now. So it's easier to oxidize down the group. How about thermal stability? Thermal stability also depends on the this uh, bond clank and bond energy. So when down the group, we know that uh, the size of the halogen is getting larger because more electrons shut out. So when the bond length is longer, the bond strength is weaker. It means it's easier to break this bond and the thermal stability will decrease. Uh, again, the thermal stability is uh, how stable is uh, the compound when we heat it. So the hydrogen iodide uh, is, has the lowest thermal stability. Means it's easier to uh, break and uh, it's decomposed. So thermal stability decreases down the group. So answer is C. That's all. Thank you.